Hi, this is Elizabeth with MamaCanDoIt.com and today I'm going to make a swaddling blanket with you. The first thing that you're going to want to do is to print your pattern. I've got that going right now, so I figured that I would also iron my fabric. Here I've got two fabrics that I just love. This one's a very light mint green and this one is just this really cute damask white and black pattern. And I love giving the swaddling blanket as a gift at a baby shower, especially for people that I don't know very well. I'm going to a baby shower this Saturday and I don't know the mom all that well. And I know from experience that this is the perfect gift to give to a baby shower. So I'm going to get started now. I like to put my patterns together on the floor. It makes everything just go a lot together a lot easier. So the first thing I'm going to do is set my pattern up the way that it is just to make sure that everything printed evenly make sure my printer didn't make anything any uneven at all I'm also going to get my ruler or a yardstick and I'm just going to measure these one inch squares here just to make sure that everything printed the right way. Alright, so I got my fabric pieces cut using the pattern, and I also cut a couple pieces for a headband that I'm going to make to match the whole thing. At MamaCanDoIt.com there's a ton of free um, flower headband patterns. It also tells you how long to make the elastic. It's a really great addition to any gift or, frankly, for your own baby. I love making flowers for my girls. So I'll set this aside for now. Okay, so the next step what you're going to need is a seam ripper and a pen. If you have a fabric marking pen, that works too. Frankly, I don't mind using a real pen because I'm going to be covering it up anyways. Um, the first step that we're going to do is take our outer front panel. Now, this is the one that I'm going to have on the outside. Um, I'm going to have this be on the front outer and I'm going to have this be on the outer of the swaddler itself. Um, I can't wait to show you the, the contrast, what that's going to look like. But anyways, so what I need to do is mark where I'm going to be putting my Velcro. So on the pattern piece itself, you're going to see that it's got um, the Velcro mark and it's got these little circles on the corners. I'm just going to take my seam ripper and poke a hole right there on the corners and then I'm going to line up the pattern here on the one side and I'm going to take my pen or marker or whatever you chalk whatever you decide to do and I'm going to mark in each of those holes that way it's going to tell me where my velcro placement is going to be I'm going to do that on the other side too by flipping the pattern over Alright, so I'm back at my ironing board and I have my two pieces um, that are sewn together. So I have my front panel and I have my swaddler. Now I'm going to turn each of these right side out through each of the three inch openings. Thank you. 
All right, so now I have my front panel ironed and I also have my swaddling blanket ironed. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my swaddling blanket up with the inside, the part that's going to be against the baby's skin, facing up at me. Remember, I'm going to have this side be on the outside, so I'm going to simply lay this facing up. Then, my front panel, I am also going to lay facing up. So this is actually what's going to be on the outside. And pretend that we have it finished so you can see what it's going to look like. The swaddler is going to wrap around and this is going to also show where the baby's feet are. So now you kind of can get an idea of what it's going to be like. So what we're going to do is we're going to find that center point on the front panel. We're also going to find the center point on the swaddler itself. Now, I'm going to grab my pins and we are going to pin those center points together. Okay, so I'm setting my sewing machine to be able to sew an eighth of an inch from the edge to attach the front panel to the um, swaddler itself. Thanks for joining me today. Molly's comfortable in this new swaddling blanket, which I'm going to give as a baby shower gift tomorrow. And we got it all done. I hope you had a great time with this tutorial, and I hope that it helps you feel comfortable in your sewing experience. Have a great day.